Mr. Speaker, Canadians are baffled by the construction of the so-called West End Wall at the West End Hotel. That's what we're talking about, and this Prime Minister's willingness to bow to China's every wish. Freedom of speech is a cherished right in Canada. The Liberals went along with blocking out Canadians who were protesting China's absolute disregard for human rights and the rule of law. This wall was an insult to Canadians. Why didn't the Liberals oppose the construction of it? Is this just another example of our Prime Minister being their puppet on a spring string? Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. I'd like to go back to what dialogue means and to what last week represented for our two countries. Dialogue is an opportunity for two parties to have a conversation and possibly to solve challenging problems. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Bravo. Now, member for Cypress Hills Grasslands. Well, Mr. Speaker, it isn't about the West, and it's about the Liberals' refusal to face reality with regard to China. China's not just putting up walls here. At the same time, they were insisting on the construction of the wall at the West End Hotel. China was locking up human rights advocates behind much deadlier walls. And the Liberals are so naive, they think that giving in to every demand of this basic dictatorship will bring freedom to the Chinese people. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm not here to discuss China's human rights record. We're here as Canadians. We're here as Canadians to assert, uphold the value of human rights, the value of our high standards, and we intend to get there through dialogue with China. Thank you. Well, the member for Guelph.